traders, FS Picoletti here. Today is Monday, July 29th, and I'm going to be analyzing the SPX 500 or the S&P 500, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the S&P 500 monthly, I definitely am still looking at this as a big one, two, three. Most wave threes do go up to at least a 161.8% Fibonacci extension of wave one. So I'm still pretty bullish on this. I still think there's a good chance it's going to go up there before it makes a big wave four and probably goes back up for the wave five so keep that in mind because it is very important as we go down to the weekly time frame and beyond i definitely definitely am still looking at this as a wave one i'm looking at this as a wave two and i think this is all subdivisions of a wave three yes we have been going down for a couple of weeks now but that does not prove that this trend is over there's no breaker structure there's no lower high there's no proof at all that this down or uptrend is over and this move down is any kind of a significant reversal. I still think that this is a wave three and I still think we need to go to about the $6,000 area to finish off this wave three. So taking it down to the daily time frame. So on the daily, we definitely do have a break of structure. We have a break of structure here. We also have a break of structure there. That proves to me that this whole sensitive of trend from here to here is over. So the daily trend is over. The weekly monthly uptrend I think is very, very likely not over, which means that this move down that we're currently seeing is very, very likely to be a crutch into this last five waves up. I would expect it to go down to a Fibonacci retracement, probably make some sort of an A, a B, and a C shape, then most likely end up continuing the uptrend, all subdivisions of this big wave three. So taking it down to the four hour time frame, I'm definitely looking for sorts right now because of what I see on the daily time frame. The daily definitely did break down. I would actually kind of expect this to probably continue down at least one more time and we're probably only in a wave A of an ABC correct into that daily uptrend. So I'm definitely still looking for sorts in a downtrend, especially on sort of time frames. Heading down to the one hour time frame, I actually think this move up right here could be the wave A. Even though this move down is very soft, I think it could be the wave B, I think we may already be in the wave C. All I'm really waiting for is a nice break and hold below Strutzer at a Fibonacci level. If I do see a break and hold below Strutzer at a Fibonacci retracement level of this last push down, then I definitely, definitely will take it as a sort. I don't see any reason to think the trend is over on the daily time frame to move to the downside. I think they were still in a wave A of a bigger ABC correction. So I'm definitely still looking for sorts. I'm looking for a break of Strutzer to the downside to go sort for the continuation of of this move to the downside, which, like I said, is likely a wave A. So, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.